written in white on a red banner, showing transformation. A Bonet de Silva, production supervisor, Dalius Osklin. She is black, 31 years old. 14 days after I was born, my mother gave me away to my grandparents. My mother had to leave João Pessoa, come to Rio, to be able to give us a better life, me, my grandma and my brother. When I turned seven years old, my mom was able to buy us a house. And once she did, she came to see the house. And when I saw her from far away, I already knew it was her because we looked so much alike. So I rushed to give her a hug, and it was very, very nice. It was so good. When we lived in the countryside, it was pretty tough for us. My grandma always took good care of us. My grandma was... She was a mother to me. Picture of her grandma on a wheelchair, holding a picture of the Virgin Mary. When I turned 16, my grandma had her first stroke. And right there, my whole world kind of stopped, because I felt I could no longer manage. I kept studying, started to take care of my grandma. She was very ill, got very weak. She depended a lot on me. When I was 17, my grandma had her second stroke. And that's when... It felt like my world had ended, and I began to just throw myself to the world, completely lost. I no longer took care of my grandma as I used to, and when I realized that I couldn't, like... A Bonage gets emotional. Sorry. For me, it was... very complicated. I got involved with drugs. She wipes her tears. I started working as a prostitute. I took some time to think and decided to come to Rio de Janeiro to live with my mother. Rio de Janeiro, Aterro do Flamengo. Slum houses with massive interweaving of electrical wires. I called my mom asking if she would have me at her house in Rio de Janeiro with her. Picture of her and her family. In fact, I think I lived with her for one year and eight months, something like that. Then I had another relationship. I met my son's father here. And after nine years of marriage, we broke up and I moved here to the Caju area. Picture of her with her son at a Flamengo soccer game. Picture of her holding her son. Yes, I'm very happy here in my new house. It's been a week since I moved in. She's in a room with a large wardrobe enters a room with her son. This is Artur's bedroom. For the first time, last night he slept on his own room, on his own bed. He already had this bed where he slept, right beside me in our bedroom at the other house. And last night he was very comfortable. Pictures of Artur, the son. Arthur, he already knows when I'm upset. He asks if things are okay, if he can be of any help. So my son is everything to me. Picture of Aboneide with Arthur. She enters the factory. Because before I started working at Talius, my goal was to become a nurse. And then I became to fall in love with factory work. And last year, when I completed 10 years, then in honor of my profession because I love what I do. I had a tattoo of a sewing machine and my other passion which is my son, Arthur. Shows a tattoo on her arm, a sewing machine and the name Arthur underneath. Seamstresses at the factory. I started working as production assistants. I have colleagues who, in the past, I used to be their assistant. And now I'm their leader. For me, it's a huge privilege. Picture of her and her team. I will never feel ashamed of telling people about some of the things that happened in the past, the challenge I've overcome, my dream. I knew I didn't want that for me. Pictures. Today, thank God, the story I'm able to tell my son is the story of a breakthrough. I'm very grateful for my upbringing, for the woman I am today, how my grandma raised me. Pictures of Abonage and Arthur. If you get to know me, if you see a picture of me as a little child, you'll see. Wow, what a breakthrough in her body, soul, life, everything. I used to think I was very ugly. Now I'm fabulous. <laughs> she opens a big smile. She wears makeup and pink lipstick. 